Today, we will dive into the touching and complex world of little people, big world with a story that touches the soul, challenges our perceptions, and sheds light on the beauty of diversity. It's a calm evening. The air is filled with the sweet aroma of marshmallows roasting over a crackling fire. This perfect picture was the backdrop for Zach Roloff, a devoted father of three, as he found himself in the midst of a deep conversation with his oldest son, Jackson, six. The conversation unexpectedly took a turn toward dwarfism, a topic that admittedly is not a typical topic of discussion around the campfire, especially with a young child. Zach, along with his wife Tori, handled this delicate conversation with Grace. It all started when Jackson curiously asked why his friend couldn't play baseball in the Major League Baseball, a question that seemed innocent but touched on deep themes of identity and belonging. The reason? His friend was not a midget like him. This moment of curiosity led to a larger conversation. Jackson, with the simplicity and wonder of a six-year-old, asked, I'm a midget. What does that mean? Imagine the weight of that question, the pause it causes, the reflection it demands. Zach, unprepared for this conversation at such an early stage, ventured to explain to Jackson what dwarfism meant, trying to weave the explanation with sensitivity, understanding, and a touch of divine design. Zach's reflections on this exchange were deeply sincere. In confession, he shared, this is not a conversation I was prepared to have. This sentiment echoes the unwritten nature of fatherhood, how these important, life-changing conversations often arise spontaneously, driven by a child's curiosity. Zach emphasized that these are not just conversations, but moments, unplanned, profound, and transformative. The narrative takes another deeply personal turn when we learn about Lila, Zach and Tori's four-year-old daughter, who is facing her own challenges. Last week, the family shared an update on Lila's health, revealing her diagnosis of moderate sleep apnea. This news provides insight into the unique health needs of people with dwarfism, emphasizing the importance of sleep tests to ensure their well-being. The possibility that Layla will need her tonsils removed is a testament to the family's proactive and loving approach to health and care. Among these heartwarming stories of Jackson and Lila, one cannot fail to mention the youngest of the Roloffs, Josiah, who is only 21 months old and brings his own spark to the family dynamic. Together they overcome the challenges of life, dwarfism and health with an unwavering bond of love, understanding and resilience. And now I turn to you, my amazing audience. What do you think about how the Roloffs handle conversations about dwarfism with their children? And what about their proactive approach to dealing with health issues? Your ideas and opinions are what make this community so special, so please share your thoughts in the comments below. As we close this heartwarming story, let's not forget the power of community, love, and understanding. If you've been touched by the Roloff family's journey, please show your support by giving a thumbs up, subscribing to other heartwarming stories, and sharing this video to spread knowledge and love. Julie has been with you. Until our next adventure, may your hearts be open and your spirits high. Bye, my dear ones.